Horror films are so much fun to do. And I'll tell you why. Crying, screaming, dead goats, feces, fighting, shooting, vomiting, blood, shotgun, knife, tea kettle, blood everywhere, bow and arrow, out my face. It's actually been an absolute blast. <laughs> At midnight, you have to play a game. Hide and seek? Are we really going to play that? Good luck. I was told that Ready or Not was going to be directed by a group called Radio Silence, Chad being the producer and Tyler and Matt being the two directors. When we hired the directing team, we said, so how does this work? And they, but listen, we sort of share a brain. We talk about it like being in a band. Three of us have all worked together to create a very specific sound, and we all know how everyone else has tuned their instruments. We like to share ideas and actually debate those ideas, and the best idea wins. Tyler is really great with the camera. Matt will talk to the actors but either one can switch. Action! This movie starts grand and classical, and then it just degrades and degrades, and the camera moves get quicker, and the music is gonna get crazier. I think you made your point, sweetheart. Thank you. Good, let's okay. pick it up. Hey, it's Lisa here with more on horror. The Exorcist was the first horror film to be nominated for a Best Picture Oscar. Now, the horror genre has never gotten much love from the Academy, though there still seems to be a bias against scary movies during awards season. The Exorcist earned 10 Oscar nominations in 1974, including Best Supporting Actress nod for Linda Blair, who was just 15 years old at the time. Now, do you like my shirt? You can get one in the description below.